Okay, uh, good morning to everyone. Um, let us start. Uh, essentially, we are going to try to figure it out uh, what, what, are, what is the meaning of this title in the next couple of minutes. So, here we go. Rice. Rice is a kind of name for this new feature. It's an acronym for Reveal a Python uh, a slideshow extension. So uh, a short name uh, for uh, don't forget about about this. Okay, who am I? My name is Damien Avila. Um, I contribute so, uh, to a, 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 some projects, see? in particular I Python, Nicola and Bokeh projects are um, uh, projects where I spend a, a lot of time. I also, I am a biochemist uh, in immunology. My PhD was in immunology. Uh, so, this is a little bit of my history. Here you have uh, all ways to contact me. Essentially, my uh, GitHub username, my Twitter, my email. I will try to do the best to answer you as soon as possible. And below, uh, it is the URL for, for my blog where I sometimes write a little bit. Okay, last chapter. This is me last year uh, talking a little bit about IPython e Reveal and Reveal. Um, essentially, I present the IPython slides. How many of you uh, have you use uh, the uh, Python slide in the past or known? Oh, great. Nice. Essentially, for people not, not used to, to have experience with that, it is an HTML GS based slideshow, semi programmatically written because you have an user an interface in the notebook. Um, by the uh, IPython and convert machinery, and supported by the functionality of the Reveal GS library. I think it's pretty popular. Uh, I, I saw a lot of people using the, the uh, IPython slides, but one of the major characteristics from the uh, Python slides are that they are static ones, yes. Um, it is only HTML and, and GS in an, an a static file, so essentially you cannot execute any code uh, like in the notebook itself. So let me take a little break some days ago Jupiter was announced. Um, then I had to rewrite a little bit this presentation. So, <laughs> in fact, we can do it here and change a Python for Jupiter. Yes, and you have essentially this is the demo itself. Um, about uh, this live slideshow. Uh, like here we can put something like this. But uh, maybe no, it's not a good idea because it's <laughs> very difficult to spell a word. So I will keep rice. So the new chapter. I don't have pics yet, but the video, the video will be available very soon. Um, sorry for the Gmail <laughs> below. Okay, 
these are the Jupyter IPython live slides. And they are dynamic because it, it is the notebook. It's the notebook rearranged as in, uh, revealed here's presentation. So, some additional examples to show a little bit about this. If you want to see the, the structure behind, behind this, we can use the IPython machinery and execute this code. And you can see the content of the first cells. Or for example, people love to see latex. So you can show latex and modify on the fly. Here I will plot, I will use a bucket to make a, an interactive plot. And in this case, it's a lot of example. So here you can interact with this plot. You have, you can get an idea of all the possibilities you have here where you are showing or teaching uh, for people and you can change things on the fly. And this is an IPython widget for the Lorenz attractor. So changing a little bit. It's essentially a notebook, so you can you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you can embed anything you can embed in the notebook. So a little bit about the implementation. I'm I'm going to go very deep, but essentially I encapsulate the the notebook cells in GL reveal sections elements, but you have the slide and more, more oh, oh, a lot of other elements, such as sub slide, fragment, skip cells, uh, and so on. It, so there is a, a higher complexity that only if if you if you, you only want to show a, a simple slideshow in a linear way. Uh, Reveal CS has a 2D uh, assembly, so it's a little bit complex. This is part of the code behind behind this. Uh, essentially, I have to do some uh, crazy things, and uh, I read these lines uh, some time ago, and it represents the status of the code base right now, probably. Um, the implementation is a little bit dirty, because I did not write GS at all. In fact, I started programming three years ago, so I have uh, to learn a lot of things yet. Uh, but it's working, and it's working nice. Some features, the two-dimensional grid, essentially we will list some of the uh, reveal GS features. We have fragments, shortcuts, uh, uh, spell bad, um, overview mode, teams. In fact, I am using a team here because the, the default team is the white one, similar to the notebook, but I like a lot to customize my, my notebooks and my slideshows. Uh, transitions and all the stupid, all you can have in the notebook is a feature for, for this too. So if you edit the shortcuts, what does it look like? Sorry? If you now edit the word shortcuts in this moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Short. Thanks. <laughs> okay, installation. Um, you can install it as any NB extension. Uh, if you don't have experience with that, I can uh, help you. It's 
uh, really easy. Essentially, we, we provide an, an API to do it, uh, but you can do it manually too, just uh, making an NB extension folder in your IPython profile and in your custom GS linking to the, to the extension in, in that folder. It's very simple. Future. Well, I, I hope a lot of people uh, adopt it. Um, it has a, a big enhancement uh, uh, versus the static slideshow and this is the, 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 the dynamic a possibility to change the things uh, where you are working and lecturing or whatever you are presenting. This is the GitHub repo. Uh, right now this is in my account. Uh, you see it, find bugs. There, there, is, there are bugs right now, but I am trying to, to work on them. Um, in fact, there is people, uh, there is some people who use uh, the, this live slideshow in this conference before me, <laughs> so it's great. Uh, there are people already uh, already known this this extension. Um, please, if you you can open issues and contribute. It will be very appreciated uh, because uh, I have a little experience in GS and uh, right now this uh, bunch of functions and uh, it has to be rewritten in a in a better way. Uh, I want to thanks to Continuum. I am working right now in Continuum and they paid off the cost. <laughs> to to be here um, and to present something that is not related w with their products. So uh, thanks, Continuum, to support me. And thank you p to, to be there, to be here, sorry. Uh, and the links if you need to write it again. That's all. So I, uh, I actually have two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, the first, can you easily drop out of this mode back into the yeah. standard notebook? This is one of the bugs I have to, <laughs> I have to, sorry, this is my customized iPython notebook and it's, uh. it looks very uh, <laughs> weird because it's, 18 for, for 16, and I had a high. But essentially, I have all, all my. Well, this is a notebook, yeah? Sorry, it's, it's customized. I, I think I have. Oh, okay. This is the default one. It's not as nice as my own. Mm. Okay. Essentially, you, should, you, you can go to the not to the mode uh, presentation mode in that way and crossing in the closing in the, the close go back to the to the Python mode. Oh, very yeah. slick. Looks good. Yeah, um, you you have a shortcut to do it, but I forgot what shortcut that I put to to do that. Um, but, um, my other question. So you don't. With this, you don't have to use NB convert at all, right? You just, it's, it's yeah. all running it's in all the notebook. It's all JavaScript on wow. the fly. Cool. I essentially use the same structure because the idea is to have compatibility with the static Python slides. So this same slide, if you can be converted, you will have the Python, the static one. Yeah, and you can deploy whatever you want. The idea is to maintain the compatibility between the two objects. Uh, thanks for uh, 
producing this. This is great. Okay. Um, my question was, if you have a slide that, I think you showed one that has content that's longer than a typical screen and you can scroll on yeah. a slide. Can you show that again or how that works? Probably some, any, any of that, if, if, if you have more content, you can go down with the, the scroll bar and access to that content. No. To, to go to the next slide, you have to go to the next slide with the, the shortcut. But the idea is to, because something is not easy to, you could remap all the things to have only fixed slides, but this is very difficult uh, to do. And I don't know if, if it has sense at the end. Some people uh, in the past asked me about rearrange the things to have only fixed slides in the static one. And it, there, there was a discussion about that, and finally we decide, I decide, <laughs> to have the scroll uh, instead of all the, all, all the rearrangement you have to, to make to fit only in, in, in one size slide. Uh, so just a quick question about, uh, I guess, layout. Um, so normally when you, when you write a notebook cell, you execute it, the result, the image, or the, uh, the result of the code ends up right underneath it. Um, how easy would it be to configure per slide uh, layout? So I know there's a pull request right now in IPython for, uh, or maybe just an example of mm -hmm. laying out code here and then results here. So left mm -hmm. and right as opposed to top down. Mm -hmm. um, but how, would, how hard would it be to do per slide? Uh, I don't think it would be so hard. Probably I have to make some changes. But I think it's possible uh, to, to do it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's possible. Thanks. It's very nice. Um, so yesterday I tried to use the previous version to export the slides to PDF for my lightning talk to send to Anthony, mm -hmm. and it didn't work very well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It, uh, it sort of cut the slides up in the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a, I, I don't want to, to, <laughs> to push the, the guild to uh, other people, but this is a, a, a file in the reveal.js library, right. and it's very difficult there to have a nice PDF uh, exportation from the, the, the slideshow. Okay. So they are all the time changing that, that part of the code base, because uh, when a new version of the browser comes, it changed a lot right. the things, and you 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 can get a, a solid PDF uh, corresponding one page with one slide. Yeah, it's a problem. Thanks. Uh, is your is your customized notebook available? Uh, I have to make it available. <laughs> I will I will do it in the next week. I have some requests for people to to. Do it. Uh, Damien, I think, yeah. I think reveal.js um, <clears throat> has a slide preview, like thumbnails option. Is that, is that possible with, uh, with live reveal? Uh, yeah, I think you are... Let me... This one, overview, or do you see... Yeah, that's what I meant. That's, that's brilliant. Um, also, I believe... Uh, Reveal has like a, an annotations option to, to put annotations along with your slides. Yeah. So that when you're presenting, you've got some yeah. notes. Yeah, they, they, they are the, the notes. Yeah. They, they are supported in the static version. Right. In the live version, I didn't support it yet, but it's on my plans.
So this one's more a, a thought than a question, but saying this reminds me that we, we really should make it easier for people to install NV extensions so that you don't have to go and like copy files around and yeah. modify your custom JS and things. You should just be able to find it in a list and click a thing and yeah. install but it automatically. So if people want to come and work on that at the sprints, then um, you get all the fun of packaging and all the fun of JavaScript. What could possibly yeah. be better? <laughs> Yeah, I think there is a preliminary support for install the NV, the NV extension from Ming, if I remember correctly. But I don't know the status of, of if it is a PR yet. I, I don't remember. Uh, I, but I don't remember that one either. Yeah. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. I hear a volunteer. <laughs> okay. That's good. Thanks.